Hey folks, I just want to give you an update on the uh, army worm situation. What you see here, this is the uh, same section that I treated. I treated this section here and then a uh, section on the uh, other side there. But this is where that uh, gray haze was. You can still see there's a little bit of damage going on, but uh, it's really not terrible. You can actually see a lot of it green and back up here. As you can see, some of them grasses are coming back up. Uh, it didn't quite eat the crown, so the crown's producing these new shoots on the grass, so really liking that. Um, I mean, it's only been five or six days, killed all the worms, and now we got uh, new shoots coming up from the crown, so that's pretty good news. If you can get on them quick enough, I think you'll have pretty good success. I'll also give you a update on the front yard here there's a few bare spots that I, uh, I actually ran out of seed and I sold some to my dad so I got what I got right now um, but I I got no problem with them filling in I think they're gonna fill in okay but I'll show you the front yard here so this is the front yard um, obviously we have leaves falling already in northern Iowa but for the most part, it filled in pretty well. As you can see a lot of that. A lot of this here was established, but then a lot of that was pretty barren. And this is where I had that problem with the uh, bill bugs. I believe it was bill bugs. And it's coming up. There's a lot of young grass coming up there. And over here, this place does not get much sun at all, but. There's a lot of young grass coming up there too, you can see. But, I mean, compared to what it was, it's uh, coming in pretty well. I actually have a green lawn again. This front park strip, I overseeded with the uh, that shady mix with uh, Mazama and some of that fine fescue and uh, chewing fescue and then I also put uh, perennial rye grass and that stuff now, this sissy grass it will grow, grow anywhere that's for sure but it actually filled in really well this is probably my best fill in going on here with that perennial rye grass see the neighbors there they hired aeration done I prefer to do my own but teach their own but that perennial ryegrass really filled in here pretty good. And over on this side, I got the Mazama. See how much darker that is than the neighbor's lawn? It's got pretty good color, just the, just the grass does. And I really haven't put much iron on this at all. But it does pretty good. And then in this area, you can see I had a washout and I couldn't keep seed on it very well. So I threw perennial ryegrass on it. And then uh, I watered it and whatnot, and that filled in. But you can definitely tell where that perennial ryegrass is there, and then where the Mazama bluegrass starts. So I don't know if maybe I should blend that some or just leave it as a deal. I don't know. Let me know, guys. All right, and then up here, I got a stick there. The city guys will pick that up probably next week. Um, but right here we got there's a pretty good stand of the Mazama and then I added the shade mix and I also put perennial ryegrass down so this should come in really well and it's been doing a lot better than it was whole strip there is filled in with grass too um, I'm going to mow and bag all this here probably tomorrow now that's the weekend but mowing bag all this and in the front and it uh, should clean her up and look like a lawn now off to the backyard here 
I did a really half-assed anything of seating back here because uh, I was focusing more on the front but I did add a bunch of perennial ryegrass back here I didn't dethatch and I didn't aerate um, I just motor short and I threw down seed and there's actually quite a bit that came in so you can see there's a lighter area right here and then there's light obviously these are kind of striped a little bit but there's a lot of light grasses in here compared to the dark spots you see some dark spots and then I had this area trenched here for my power to my camper here in 19 but you can see where there's some lighter grass and that's actually that perennial ryegrass coming up and it came up a lot better than I thought it would just because of the dew I didn't water this either and the dew in the mornings lately has just been so heavy you walk outside and your feet are soaked so I I think uh, if you're overseeding if you're gonna water water but if you're not gonna water don't water don't do anything half-assed in between just do one or the other um, obviously you're gonna have a better success with watering but if you throw down a little extra seed uh, I'd just go ahead and not water if you're getting good dues um, on an overseed uh, a renovation you need to water there's no doubt about it but I thought this stuff came in really well you can see some of these lighter spots in here and that's all that new grass and this was pretty thick back here but you still get new grass introduced and maybe it'll clean out some of these unwanted pests uh i got some of that kentucky 31 back here and i don't know i'm not too worried about it i just uh don't like it i might renovate this next year it just depends on if i got the time money and if the wife approves which that's probably the one that will get me but big deal But even back here, I'm doing my granular fertilizer. I'm doing about oh, a third of a pound a week of nitrogen uh, until probably the end of October. I'll do that. And I had really good success with it last year. The only problem I did have is these things. Dog spots from that thing but what do you do you either either have nice grass or you shoot the dog but I'm pretty sure the wife would rather keep the dog that was just me anyways thanks for watching guys hope this wasn't too rambly of a video uh, like, subscribe, share, and follow, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.